We've got a tree we're gonna fall. It's one of those trees you drive up to and it looks, you know, easy. This is our client, Mr. Bill Zobelberg. Bill Zobelberg. We have Damien here. What's up, you two? When you get to the base, you get butterflies, if I'm just totally honest. We're gonna be doing some hinging, some holding wood. And you just imagine various scenarios, various uh, parallel dimension stuff. So this will do it no justice, but. That's thought provoking. Here's the metal and we need to high stump it and believe it or not that is a concern because your really fibrous hingy wood is usually down in the stump so we're getting into the log where we're gonna want good hinge wood but it, it is pine ponderosa pine is typically pretty hingy any thoughts this is gonna be awesome <laughs> okay <laughs> And you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Working for a church, you you hope you're you're being you know inspired. You're being you're being divinely led to the right choice. And you're also giving them a deal. You don't want to give them a really good deal on a crushed building. <laughs> committed to this lay before the cuts meet up which is good Oh, oh, oh. 
yeah. was legit. That was a perfect shot. Yeah. That was absolutely perfect. I know, it was dead on. Absolutely. I steered it in and then chopped this wood at the last so that we didn't go too far to the right. Sometimes pine is kind of brittle, like even on the stump, like it's odd. Sometimes really stringy and other times kind of brittle. You can see where it broke here. When you got a tree that's breaking like this, it looks kind of like ice when it breaks. You know? When you have a tree that breaks like that, you're not really stoked about the holding wood and the and the fibrousness of it. Yeah, that was perfect though. I mean, just just perfect. Love it. Praise God. Look at this. That's their old satellite. Can you hear me now? You know, in the woods, you would walk up to that tree and you'd be like, oh yeah, it'll go there. But it makes you think longer when when you're starting to find goalposts of importance like this. So you gotta take the stem into consideration, but also the canopy. And um, anyway, happiness. A couple of years ago, I would just uh, researched on the internet, on YouTube, and I ran across uh, August's uh, website. You're talking about YouTube? I'm talking about YouTube, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, so I, I kept watching them and watching them, and in August I felt was honest and he was a Christian and he was trustworthy and all that good stuff, you know, and I just kind of got drawn to him. And, if and it I, worked out this time. It did very much. <laughs> it's been two years since I started watching your videos. Right and, on, thank you. Yeah, so I appreciate what you did today and it was great. You got yeah, another really cool it. one to watch coming up. Yeah, we got a video coming and up. you're in it. Yeah. Yeah. When When's it gonna air? Uh, I bet you it'll be uh, before the weekend. Cool. cool. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it's by tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll knowing see. The, knowing him, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's... Oh, my camera. Yeah. Oh, I got to get that thing out of here. Yeah, I was wondering. About <laughs> I got a drone in the air this whole time. <laughs> Most of the arborist types that I've worked for in my life been around with... Uh, experience in urban or residential areas most of them trained up in those places under uh, bosses that are afraid of taking risks they don't want anybody but maybe themselves taking a risk which is quite understandable but most people would not have fallen a tree like that there are those who see it and go yeah we got this but mostly people climb those they're like, why take the risk? And then some will even accuse you of being risky. But it depends on the skill set. And not a be a, not to be horn tooting at all, but just an observation that I've seen. What seems dodgy, risky, sketchy to one person isn't really to another. And there'll probably be a ton of people see this video that go, oh yeah, you can hinge that in there. You can make that shot. And then there'll be others that would be like, they might say they would, but when you get them on the stump and looking up at the weight going contrary to your lay, even when you know what you know and you know that you know that you know it, it'll make you think. So it's always a happy, feeling to uh, quiet the the doubt in your mind long enough to do what you know you can do and then of course conversely you might want to um, listen to the doubt there's a time to say nope we're gonna we're gonna put a rope in it we're gonna climb it we're gonna use a spider lift, we're gonna get the crane. There's a time for all those things. But it's it's in between, it's at the pivot point, either way choices 
where you really learn who you are and what you can do or you don't if you always err way on the safe side then then that's okay too but you learn less about what you can accomplish so if you play it safe all the time and you get a perfect record then excellent and if you're one of those wingsuit flying uh, BMX backflip types, then good, excellent, and all points in between. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was legit. <laughs>